Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In last video, we have gone through a MuleSoft validation module part 1 where we have seen various kind of validation is null, is not null and is number. Okay. In this video, we will going to see a various validation which includes uh, let me like uh, validate size. Uh, validate IP address and validate the email ID okay so we are going to see that so first thing we will move it uh, to any point uh, studio okay in my any point studio the first thing I will drag and drop HTTP listener and I will start configuring this HTTP listener so click on this plus button keep all setting as a default and simply say validate right now the first thing we will check is email so I want to validate my email ID in the payload so what we can do so there is a something called is email which can be used to validate any email address so I can say payload dot email okay so you can say that or like uh, Okay, you can say uh, you can mention that payload dot you know email something like that. Now what you can do, you can say logger. I want to just log if it gets successfully completed. In case of error, it should not get completed. Successfully completed. Now save everything. So my application is already running. So let me clear the console. It will redeploy the application. And I will go to my REST client and I will just try to send this email. Okay, the application has been deployed. Let me test it. So I will just simply say send. My email has been successfully validated. I got 200 okay. And even if you see, it is successfully completed. You can see that particular message. Now the next thing, I will just send the invalid email. So what I can say send. So in this case the gtender at gmail is not a valid email address. Uh, also you can try with this also. So we got the error again. Okay. Because it's an invalid email address. Send it. It just check the format of your email address. If it's valid then it will move further. Otherwise it will throw the exception. But if you see, I haven't got the proper exception like, you know, so I want the proper exception, you know, in the error. So what I can do, I can use on error propagate and I can build a message there. On error propagate, I will drag and drop on error propagate my error handler and I can say a validation invalid email. I can call transform message and, you know, in transform message, I will declare one variable, you know, HTTP status. I will simply say OK. And here I will say bad request. Then I can go to payload. Under output, I can say application slash JSON. And I will just use customized message. Uh, okay, better I put in double quotes. Error dot description, comma. I can say type error dot you know you can see various error types and all those things or even you can see error message whatever you know so let's see error message I or instead of type I can change this to message or error message that's it save everything okay and also yeah this this will be enough so I am saving everything. Once I save everything, it will deploy the application, which it's already done. So try to send the request now. 200 OK is fine. Now let me remove this. Send it. But we haven't got the proper response yet again, right? In JSON format. So why? We have to do some changes on HTTP listener. You can go to responses. Under responses, look for error response under error response remove this all this thing and just say payload so what will happen so whatever error payload we have set up 
here it will get uh, no, it will send as a response also we have to send the status code which we have sent it you know we have set as a variable uh, HTTP start equals to 400 so in this case you can say vars dot HTTP status okay now save the application once you save it in the application it will deploy it So my application must be deployed successfully that yeah, the application has been deployed okay. so let me test it again let's see if we get a proper response back or not we got the 400 and we got proper JSON response which we expecting okay so we got everything back now the second thing the second component instead of email I will test is IP So generally this is IP can validate IPv4 and IPv6 IP addresses okay so let's start configuring the IP addresses so this time I will get my IP address in the header instead of getting in the payload so how we can access the header value attributes dot header either you can say dot or you can say square bracket I can say X IP address and even you can here define the customized error message uh, like the IP address is invalid or it will use the default error message uh, provided by the component so you can keep as it is so now you need to change the error here error type invalid IP instead of invalid email I can don't let me check yeah you can save everything once you save it it will redeploy the application let me clear the console let me put, this is fine now okay so my application has been started let me send the request let's see what happens it should fail 500 share response okay we have one handle handle this 500 okay so what happened so like uh, it is not able to find that IP address okay so one more thing you can do here like if you want a proper error on error propagate okay and like you can use like you know you can use transform message here under this on error propagate you can define type any okay if you see I have different type any just copy this transform message from here and define it here and declare the same variable here again HTTP status and instead of 400 I will say 500 okay let me save everything why we got this error because we haven't passed the IP address in the header let's see let it redeploy it first I want to make sure we got the proper error we handle the exception properly now I will send the request and we should have a proper response see we got the proper response error message you know required IP address assign which is not required. so what we have to do we can pass a IP address from in the header X IP address equals to 10.10.255.255 let me send the request now okay the spelling is incorrect x ip address okay this time it was successful right the, and if you see the flow is successfully completed let me send one more request okay successfully so if I change this IP address to 256 what happens it should fail because generally okay the maximum range of IP address is supported is 255.255.255 255 right so this is the max IP address is supported you know? so this is the IPv4 IP address now second thing what I will do I will try to make it more changes 
it should say 10 dot is not value IP, IP address 400 bed request let me try with this IPv6 IP address this is my IPv6 IP address let me paste it here let's see what happens so it has been successfully validated so it it can validate it validate IPv4 as well as IPv6 IP addresses let me do one thing let me change this IPv6 IP address and it should fail now it has failed it is not valid IP address so this is how this IP address components work okay the next thing we will see the I want to validate the size you know uh, of the field a length of the field so so I want like the minimum length must be allowed is one and maximum must be allowed three you know I will have a field called ID and that ID length minimum length must be one and maximum must be three in case of like it's less than one or greater than three it should throw the exception so I have some component called validate size so we can make use of this validate size drag and drop validate size here in this you can give the which field value we have to validate it I say payload dot id and maximum min length is 1 maximum is 3 and you can define your custom error message otherwise it will throw or it will respond with a default error message I will change type of error here error type so it's invalid size now save the application clear the console The my application has been successfully deployed I don't want this address now IP address so ID so minimum length max uh, max length is 3 1 2 3 minimum is 1 so this should successful so 200 okay if I try with something called 1001 so length is 4 now ID length is 4 it should failed it failed value is expected at the most but it was it has a 4 now let me do one thing I will not pass anything so let's see what happens there it failed it at least it require one right so this time I will pass one or anything like nine or something like that so it send so it was successful so let me send 92 Right. this is also successful so this is how a validation module works in the mule shop so we have already uh, gone through like you know uh, in my part one video we have already seen a string is null a string is not null and like uh, then we have seen is IP address is email validate size and is number okay so in next video we will explore more option in the validation module I hope you like this video if you like this video just click on the like button and subscribe to my videos thanks for watching the video